let's do some voltage drop testing on a parallel circuit. Now voltage drop testing on a parallel circuit is really not any different than voltage drop testing on a series circuit or any other circuit for that matter, but there's some things to consider. Okay, so we know that if we want to voltage drop test the, the positive side of the circuit, we're going to start up here at our 12 volt power tap and we're, we can go down here to where the voltage flows into our small bulb or this the left side of this parallel circuit and we can see that we have 68 millivolts voltage drop okay and that's good um, we can go we can take our, our black lead from the, the small bulb and we can put it over here where the large bulb is and we can see on that branch of the circuit we're dropping 80 millivolts the thing to remember though is that the 12 volts okay is available to the small bulb and the 12 volts is available to the large bulb. So when we measure the voltage drop of our small bulb, you can see we drop about 12 volts. If we measure the voltage drop of our large bulb, you can see we drop the same. Okay, it's the exact same amount of volts being dropped. Well, when we measure voltage drop with our um, series circuit, each bulb drops half the voltage. Well, we're not trying to run all of the current through, or we're not trying to, all of the current that flows through the circuit doesn't have to run through both bulbs. All the voltage that is flowing in this circuit um, does not have to run through, is not being split between the two bulbs. So we have 12 volts av available here, and we have 12 volts available here. So that means this bulb gets to drop 12 volts and this bulb gets to drop 12 volts. If these bulbs were hooked in series, that wouldn't be the case. One bulb would drop a portion of the voltage and the other bulb would drop um, a portion of the voltage. And how much voltage each bulb used up would depend on the resistance of that bulb. So it's a little bit different measuring voltage drop across the loads on a parallel circuit like this. The thing to remember is that you're not sharing the voltage. Maximum voltage is available to uh, both halves of the circuit. So something to remember when you're measuring voltage drop on a parallel circuit like this. Just treat each branch independently and it shouldn't be, shouldn't be difficult to figure out and it shouldn't be too confusing.